You know, Jane, it's changed tremendously. Mm. And I think tech has changed everything for us and has disrupted the um, business, but recruitment industry in particular. And as recruitment professionals, I think we have to adapt and be agile to our clients' needs because their needs have changed. And I think millennials, they don't want to pick up the phone anymore and call you about a job. They want to do it themselves. They want the jobs to come to them. Welcome to Jane Jackson Careers, a podcast that takes your career to the next level. Here's your host, Jane Jackson, author of Amazon Careers bestseller, Navigating Career Crossroads. Welcome back to my careers podcast, where I have a great time interviewing amazing professionals who are leaders in their field. Now, today I have back on the show, the wonderful Linda Hill, who is the founder of Linda Hill Recruitment. And I interviewed her about a year ago, and there have been so many new developments and exciting things happening in the recruitment industry that we've got her back. So she runs Linda Hill Recruitment, a specialist recruitment agency for the beauty and aesthetic industry. She founded this business in 2004 and has built a solid track record in placing talented professionals in jobs at luxury hotels, spas, salons and clinics throughout London. She's also an experienced and engaging keynote speaker and has been invited to speak at conferences and events in Japan, in South Africa and across the UK. She's so passionate about helping others and as a successful business owner, she receives invitations to share her entrepreneurial journey and inspire startups and established professionals in the achievement of success. She regularly contributes to beauty trade magazines, sharing best practice and business lessons. And in 2016, Linda Hill Recruitment came third in the Best of Business of the Year Awards for recruitment companies in the UK. So let's welcome Linda back to the show. Hi, Linda. Hi, Jane. (laughs) It's good. It's so good to have you back. And you know what? I saw you in London this year. And now I know you're on holiday in South Africa because it's it's just before Christmas. I'm not sure when when this podcast is going to go live. It might be before or after Christmas. But so now you're holidaying in South Africa and I'm in Sydney. And anyway, it's it's great. I just love this global, global ability (laughs) due to due to technology. So how about let's find out about your big year because um, you have this award. Tell us about it. Yes, it was um, a truly fantastic to be awarded the Best of Business of the Year Awards in the recruitment category where we came th- third. And I think it was a testament to all our loyal clients and also our talent th- talented therapists who we work with. Because I founded the business in 13 years ago and I'm still working with some of those original clients. So it's been a fantastic journey for us to grow and develop our businesses together. Yeah, I mean, it's fantastic and also really, really good to be recognised for all of your efforts, too. And what what was the criteria for um, winning the award? You know what? The criteria was we were chosen by our clients and our candidates and they had to rate us um, over five different categories about the service they received from us. So it had nothing to do with us. We couldn't submit any submissions like you often have with these awards. It was completely out of our hands and we were at the mercy of our clients and our candidates. And we are truly grateful for them to feel that they've received the best service from us and they wanted to give us this award. Yeah, isn't that amazing? It's really gratifying when the people that you work with are actually the ones who who nominate you as well. And also, having got to know you over the past year and a half or so, you're so uh, really authentic in the way that you do things, plus a lot of fun. I've had so much fun with you, Linda. So so that's great. (laughs) Quite. Yeah. And congratulations. <laughs> Whenever I go to London, I have to see you, of course. But um, congratulations. Course. I'm, I'm really, really Thanks. thrilled for you and, and for Linda Hill Recruitment, the business as well. But, you know, like Thank over you. the years, you say you've been been at this recruitment business for 13 years. And in our previous uh, interview, we talked about your career journey. But today I'd really like to focus about on recruitment and how it works. And so since starting the business over 13 years ago now, how has recruitment changed? 
You know, Jane, it's tra- changed tremendously. Mm. And I think tech has changed everything for us and has disruptive, uh, disrupted the um, business, but recruitment industry in particular. And as recruitment professionals, I think we have to adapt and be agile to our clients' needs because their needs have changed. And I think the millennium, millennials, they don't want to pick up the phone anymore and call you about a job. They want to do it themselves. They want the jobs to come to them. And also our clients, they want quicker access to candidates. Their needs have changed completely. And I think as recruiters, we need to put more systems in place so we can add more value um, to our clients' needs. Mm. And so how, how does how does the, the tech work for you at, at Linda Hill Recruitment? I think it's providing platforms for our clients to make it easier. They want to have direct access to our candidates. And what we've done, we've automated our whole temp platform. Um, instead of clients calling us and being restricted to our um, office opening hours, they can go online and book temps 24 seven. They completely remove us as the agency and we allow them access to all our temp rotors so they can see who's available, what treatments they can do, and they can book the therapist directly. It's changed everything for us mm. and it's changed everything for the clients um it stopped wasting a lot of time and effectively we removed ourselves from the process but the clients have absolutely loved it um and it's made a big impact on the way they work mm. i mean uh, that's quite amazing so this is really for for temp beauty therapists so so you vet all of them first so you know that they're of a certain standard certain experience certain skill set and then so their bios, are they up on the, the portal that you would have, the online portal? Yes, 100%. Mm-hmm. So we don't allow any of the therapists to go onto the portal if they haven't been extensively vetted. Because every time we um, or a client book a temp from us, it's effectively our reputation that's at stake. And we won't do anything to compromise that. So therefore, we are very particular who we work with. And we are now at a point where we decide that a lot of the people, perhaps we won't be working with them because our standards are different and our reputation is built on providing a transparent service to our clients and candidates. So we tend to partner with people who share our values of making a difference. And Mm. we feel with our temps and also with our clients that the relationships are built on trust. So once we feel... um, the therapists meet this criteria, we tray test them to ensure their standards are high Mm -hmm. um, because the clients um, know us for an agency that not provide reliable therapists, but also therapists that have a a very high standard of their treatments. Yeah, actually, it's true because I know when I visited you in your offices in London, you have your therapy room there where when you're actually interviewing the, the, the therapists who want to be on your books, um, they actually have to go through the entire process with massages or facials and, and all of those treatments so, yes. that, so that you can gauge how good they are and experienced they are, yeah? Yes, exactly, exactly. So we don't cut corners. Um, we want to provide the best service for our clients and therefore we attract the best therapists as well because they know we've got high standards and we work with fantastic clients, um, hotels, spas, salons and clinics mm-hmm. across London. Yeah, fantastic. And I, I can imagine too that especially if, if a salon is really, really busy and, and one of their team members are sick or for whatever reason they, they can't be there at work, you're able, they're able to actually get online even if it's overnight and book someone, aren't they? <laughs> Correct. Yes. Yeah. And what we've realized with recruitment and the changes, um, the companies are looking at ways to perhaps not have a full time member of staff in place, but bringing somebody into the business as and when required, when during busier times. And that's where the temps have been um, a wonderful help and added real value um, to a business. So it's been an extremely popular way of having an extra member of staff that can seamlessly fit in with your business. Yeah, that's fantastic. Do you only deal with um, temporary staff or do you place permanent members too? Um, we place permanent members too, and the same criteria also go for the permanent members of staff. If a therapist will be doing hands-on treatments, they've got to go through the whole vigorous process 
of mm -hmm. being tested um, and there's a lot of compliance um, that goes um, that happens behind the scenes so the clients have the peace of mind when they take on a candidate from us that they've been thoroughly screened and that we've met them face to face. Mm -hmm. And how do you screen for, you know how like company culture is so important as well. Um, how, how do you screen for that or how can you match that sort of attitude or intangible factor? I think these days, um, culture um, is playing such a big part mm. um, within businesses and um, it's about somebody's values not just about skill and um, skills you can always teach somebody but having those values um, where a company knows somebody is reliable they've committed i think that's when a candidate has longevity within a business when the values are matched mm. and this is what we as a as a business pride ourselves on to get to know the um, the candidates so we can truly match not somebody just that has um, certain skills but somebody that has the right values and want to be part of the business that has similar values to them mm. and we're partnering with a company where they've developed a um, a platform which is a values matcher um, in order for us to give our clients a better service is to utilize this technology that matches values. Oh, that sounds fantastic. So it's not yes. just the screening process, but you've actually got that additional tool uh, which which can actually measure the intangibles in a way. Exactly. The yeah. automized matcher mm -hmm. helps us to deliver a better service, but also for um, ultimately for both parties, the clients and the candidates to have a better outcome for both parties. Yeah. Oh, I love it. That that really it, it just makes life so much easier, doesn't it? And I wonder how that would translate into other industries, because I think there would be a great application for that sort of technology, not just in beauty therapy recruitment, but for, um, you know, office professionals, administrative staff, um, database management, call centers, all of that sort of thing would be uh, pretty important too. Yes, I think um, when you employ somebody, that's probably one of the, the biggest expenses, you know, is staff within a business. So you want to get it right. And I think if you can get it right from the start, um, where candidates can help you to grow the business and share your values and your vision. And I think that's when people stay and where you create a culture of happy employees. Um, and with this matcher, it helps us to get closer to that. So we, we don't just test people on skill anymore, because these days, just having the right skills are not good enough anymore. No, no you're absolutely right. It's, it really is more to do with the attitude and the aptitude and, and the best fit. Uh, because there are so many people who've got the qualifications and they've gone through the training and so they can tick all of those boxes. But ultimately, if you know there are two candidates who can do exactly the same thing, it really is the one who's going to fit in the best way with your business, isn't it? 100% correct mm. and fit in with the whole culture of the organisation. Yeah, yeah. I think your your passion for... Uh, really making the right match and and you know because you talk about values and how important they are I always do a values-based uh, careers assessment with anyone that I work with when they're going through a career transition too because if you follow your values you can never go wrong and you know if you're with like-minded individuals you're going to be so much happier too in your work environment and with all of that yes. passion Linda I know that you are now writing a book and so yes, with I this have. book in the pipeline, what's it all about? Come on, come on, out with it. Tell us all about your book. <laughs> um, well, the working title is The Business of Beauty. Um, mm. It might change, though. Um, I wanted to write a book that could be a personal mentor um, for therapists and managers to help them to fast track to success. Mm. So it's aimed at therapists and managers to assist them in their careers. And ultimately, it helps them to flourish and to be the best they can. Mm, OK, so so how, how does it does it start right from sort of a, a assessing why they're going into beauty therapy or uh, how, how have you structured or how will you structure the book if you know? 
Um, yes. So I think it's understanding that um, the why. Why mm -hmm. do we do what we do? And it's taking the therapist through that journey on their career when they start out. And um, it's being that fairy godmother for them <laughs> to say, look at this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, um, I'm, I'm giving live examples in the book of things to avoid, things to do that can accelerate their success and taking them on the whole journey um, to management and to having their own businesses, if that is what they um, aspire to have. Mm -hmm. And I've also interviewed um, very successful beauty entrepreneurs um, in the industry and to hear their success stories, because I find that is so inspirational and so motivational to find out from others, what have they done to enhance the, their journey and what has worked for them and how can we perhaps implement a little bit of that within our own career and within our own life. Yeah, I think, you know, the stories are always the most valuable because even for yourself, you've had a number of career changes. And and in our previous uh, podcast, when we went through your career journey, that was inspirational as it was. So I'm sure you've woven your own story of how you set up your own beauty therapy business and then how you got into recruitment, beauty therapy recruitment, but combine that with all the other successful beauty therapy business owners, um, it really would give everyone a, a fantastic kickstart to their business career too. Yes, absolutely. And it's to help and inspire um, those within the within the beauty industry. Mm -hmm. So um, so that's what I'm doing is to help um, help them fast track to success, um, whether you're a beauty therapist or you a spa manager or you're aspiring to have your own business. Mm -hmm. And you know what, Linda, writing a book is not an easy thing. I mean, I did it about four years you ago <laughs> and I had those kill me now moments. Why am I writing this? And I always had to remember why, because I want I wanted to make careers guidance accessible and affordable to the world and I'm sure and that's why I wrote a careers book but I'm sure for you 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 must be on a, what's your mission Linda what what do you want to achieve out of this um I think for me it's about helping others in the beauty industry make a difference mm. and I think um want, so it's not just about um your own success I think it's how can we collaborate to make the industry that we're in um, better and how can we um, help each other um, to be more successful? So for me, I'm not, I don't feel I'm in competition with, with anybody. I feel as though um, I think together we are stronger. And there is a there's a wonderful um quote, an African proverb that I absolutely that I absolutely love. And it says, if we want to, if you want to go fast, go alone. And if you want to go far, go together. So I think for me, it's about um, collaborating and to make the industry stronger and to help more people flourish. Oh, I think that's so beautiful to go to go fast, go alone and to go far, go together. I've, I've actually I came across that that quote of oh, a while ago. And I remember I remember it because it makes so much sense because there's so much power in partnerships. And I think especially as women too, we really do love to share and many men love to share as well. But sometimes it, it's like there, there seems to be more of a competitive air about it. Whereas I, I think if we can really collaborate more, we can definitely achieve a whole lot more as well. And if you're able to raise the standard of the, you know, the beauty therapy industry and create some really strong profiles for those who are dedicated to, to that particular industry, that'd be fantastic. So, yes, absolutely. So work, working title, The Business of Beauty, which may change because working titles change yeah. all the time. When when <laughs> do you anticipate publication? Um, summer of 2017. Mm -hmm. mm, OK, so 2017. So around about June, July or August, there will be a book yes. launch. Do I need to fly back to London for this book launch? Another? I think you'll have to. <laughs> I'll be so excited. I would love to be there to support you. I'm so excited. OK, well, that sounds great. So actually, regardless of anything, in the middle of 2017, you have to come back back on the show. Tell us more about this book um, on mentoring beauty therapists to be successful and also everything else that's going on with your recruitment portal, how recruitment really is is being taken over by technology in a way. But it sounds like you've managed to 
combine technology with still that human aspect, which is so important when it comes to selecting the right candidate? Absolutely. Mm, yeah, it's going to be an interesting journey this year, Linda. So now yes. lindahillrecruitment.co.uk is where everybody can find you and also yes. probably experience your portal as well, which, which is up and running really well. And um, what's your Twitter handle, Linda? It's Linda Hill London. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, so people can find you at Linda Hill London and that, that's the handle and lindahillrecruitment.co.uk. Dot UK. Any par parting words for us, Linda? Um, Jane, it's been an absolute pleasure speaking with you and I look forward to seeing you in London in 2017. Mm, oh, yes, yes. Book launch and make sure you write enough <laughs> words so that we get this really fantastic, substantial book. But also, anytime you feel a bit stuck in the writing process, give me a call. <laughs> Skype me. I will. <laughs> because, because I could always dangle a really good carrot. I had one friend, I have to tell you, when, when I was writing my book, um, and there were times yeah. when it just gets so hard. And she said, Jane, yeah. if you write 20,000 words, let me know. Or if you write 25,000 yeah. words, let me know. Because at every milestone that we agree upon, there will be a bottle of Verve Clicquot for you. And she really came through and, you know, dangling that champagne, you know, little carrot <laughs> was really good. <laughs> and, so, and so her name <laughs> was Bridget. I, I mean, I just love her because I think with, with that wonderful, wonderful carrot, that certainly got me, got me going through all of the tough times when I was thinking, why am I writing this book? And it really was because I want yes. to make careers guidance accessible and affordable to the world. But also a little yes. glass of bubbly never hurt anybody, did it? Never hurt anybody, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. Okay, so I look forward to summer 2017 because Linda Hill Recruitment is going to go off the charts with your, um, with your book launch. And I'm so excited. Thank you so much for taking time out of your holiday in South Africa to speak with us, Linda. Thank you so much, Jane. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. You can get a free audiobook download and free 30-day trial at audibletrial.com forward slash Jane Jackson Careers. There are over 180,000 book titles to choose, so give it a go and get your free audiobook today from audibletrial.com forward slash Jane Jackson Careers. You've been listening to Jane Jackson Careers. Sign up to receive regular career advice at janejacksoncoach.com.